Welcome to Severance Music Center, home of the Cleveland Orchestra. Today, we're touring the orchestra's main performance space, the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel Concert Hall. The orchestra typically plays over 100 concerts a year in this hall, which has greatly influenced and developed the orchestra's distinctive sound. According to Walker and Weeks, the building's original architects, the design of the concert hall was modernistic, but was not given a particular motif to avoid competing with the music. Some early newspaper accounts called the concert hall modern or French modern, but Art Deco became the primary descriptor after the term was coined in the 1960s. The use of aluminum is rather evident in the concert hall. It is especially pronounced on the ceiling, which may look silvery, but is actually aluminum leafing. The pattern on the ceiling was originally created with a decorative plaster process called pastilia, where a canvas was laid over a smooth coat of plaster that was then molded and either painted or leafed with aluminum. The ceiling design is inspired by the lace sleeves of Elizabeth Severance's wedding gown, for whom the building is dedicated. Seating capacity is just over 2,000 and can be raised to 2,100 when the promenade chairs are included and the stage lift is not used, thus freeing up space for two more rows of seats. The seats you see are replicas of the original and were installed in the building renovation from 1998 to 2000. The main floor seating was replaced in the 1960s, followed by the balcony and dress circle in 1978. Those seats were actually auditorium seats, or flat and square. The gentle curves of the replicas better complement the stylistic elements of the hall. Two acoustical renovations have taken place since 1931, in addition to several more minor sound quality improvements in the 1930s and 40s. The first was in 1958, when the carpeting and draperies were removed and a maple veneer stage shell was erected under the leadership of music director George Zell. Known as the Zell Shell, the acoustics were greatly improved, but the shell effectively sealed off the E.M. Skinner organ positioned above the stage. It also clashed with the architectural look and intent of the auditorium. However, the shell is extremely important to the sound development of the orchestra. It allowed the musicians to hear each other across the stage and hone what is now known as the Cleveland sound, a chamber music-like sound quality and an exacting precision that the orchestra still maintains today. One of the goals of the 2000 renovation was to install a new stage that would replicate the dimensions of the 1958 shell and aesthetically fit with the rest of the hall. Architect David M. Schwartz worked with the acoustical firm Jaffe Holden Scarborough to carefully design the shell ceiling so that it has the same height and angle and vaults from front to back as the 1958 shell. Thus, the orchestra was able to retain the renowned sound and in turn have a beautiful space to perform in. Plus, the organ is now fully functional, having been brought down from the space above the stage to reside behind and slightly above the orchestra. The stage ceiling is made of fiberglass reinforced polymer and contains curves that enhance on-stage sound quality. The wood on the stage is curly maple, the floor is made of quartered oak, and the side wall covers are made of wood covered with painted canvas. The proscenium is original and had been hidden underneath the plaster covering since the 1958 renovation. 85% of the proscenium was intact when it was restored during the renovation. There are two elevators at the front of the stage floor that allow for the creation of an orchestra pit with room for a 65-piece ensemble or for expansion of the stage floor surface. This feature is original to the hall. The back of the Dochnani stage, named in honor of the orchestra's sixth music director, Christoph von Dochnani, includes ornamental aluminum-leafed organ pipes that provide breathing space for the loudest sections of the orchestra. The pipe facade provides an aesthetic front for the real organ pipes behind them. In 2021, the room was named the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel Concert Hall in honor of a historic gift made by the Mandel Foundation. Thank you for joining us on today's tour of Mandel Concert Hall.